Burnwell Academy is an outstanding secondary school in Harlow, Essex. With the highest expectations and the belief that every child, no matter their starting point in life, can achieve their dreams, we have gone from strength to strength over the last decade. Burnt Mill is a caring and friendly school. Students tell us that when they come to school, they feel happy, safe and enjoy their learning. This positive environment where our students are supported and inspired to be the best that they can possibly be enables every child to thrive. Indeed, many students enjoy school life so much that they often stay until 5pm to continue their studies or to take part in extracurricular activities. We believe in creating opportunities for every individual and students seize the chance to experience all that Burke Mill has to offer. Year 7 students take part in a wide range of after school clubs from cooking to debating. Students are also encouraged to learn an instrument, compete in sports or become involved in one of our many school productions. Academic success is important to us because we know it will create opportunities for young people. Although this may seem a long way off, we see Year 7 as the beginning of your child's GCSE preparation to academic success. We have high aspirations for all of our students and we expect every child to leave us having achieved excellent exam results and the skills to enable them to further their education through apprenticeships or by attending university. Our teenagers take part in the Cambridge University project Brilliant Club. The University Access Charities mission is to increase the number of young people from underrepresented backgrounds attending highly selective universities. We hold lunchtime careers talks and regularly take our students to visit universities and give them opportunities to take trips abroad. As well as excellent results, we know that to be accepted at one of the Russell Group universities, such as Cambridge, Oxford or Leeds, their students will need to demonstrate determination, resilience and a strong work ethic. These are qualities that we will promote and develop in our students. Burtmore students are happy, hard working and have a strong desire to learn. They have exemplary behaviour, high aspirations and are respectful and kind to others. Our students strive to make their parents, carers, school and community proud. While our own personality and character is celebrated, we benefit from being a part of the larger BMAT education family with access to the best pra practice and expertise within the 11 primary and secondary schools in London and Essex. Indeed, BMAT education was born off the back of a rapid transformation demonstrated at Burnt Mill many years ago. Being part of the Trust means we believe no child should be limited to where they have come from, that every child within the BMAT family deserves a chance to move on from where they are now to somewhere better. This belief, this attitude, is non-negotiable for us here at Burnt Mill Academy. Good evening. My name is Miss McGlashan and I'm the head teacher of Burnt Mill Academy and I would like to thank you for joining us this evening for our virtual open evening event. I am delighted that you and your child are considering joining our outstanding academy and I hope that the video which you have just watched has given you a taster of what life at Burnt Mill Academy is really like and what we have to offer. This evening you will hear from some of our students and our staff and there will be an opportunity to ask questions throughout the evening so please do use the chat box function for this. Submit your answers throughout the evening and we will have a Q&A session later on this evening. So I have taught here at Burnt Mill Academy for 17 years and I'm an English teacher. And since 2017, I've been the head teacher at Burnt Mill Academy. And I am extremely proud of the school, the staff and our amazing students because I grew up in Harlow myself. And therefore, this is one reason why I'm so committed to our, sc our school community and also to, to the Burnt Mill community as well. This evening, I look forward to telling you about the opportunities that your child will experience if you choose Burnt Mill. But firstly, I know that as you are considering which school is right for your child, you will have some very important questions in mind. And most importantly, you will want to know that if your child attends Burnt Mill Academy, that they will be safe, happy and achieve. Having worked here for many years, I can assure you that Burnt Mill Academy is a special place. We are defined by our culture of high expectations and our caring ethos. The staff and students are relentless in their pursuit of excellence and we expect our pupils to leave the academy achieving academic success 
but also with the confidence to pursue their dreams and aspirations. This positive environment where our students are supported and inspired to be the best that they can enables every student to thrive. Indeed, many of our students in school enjoy school life so much that they end up staying here well after five o'clock. And during that time, they participate in extracurricular studies or extra revision sessions. And Burnt Mill is all about creating opportunities for every student and our pupils seize the chance to be the best that they can. We offer a wide range of variety of clubs, including debating, cooking, horse riding, and we also give pupils the chance to develop their knowledge of the world around them through educational trips and visits. Pupils are also encouraged to learn an instrument, compete in sports, or to become involved in one of our many school productions. Burnt Mill students have great character and a strong moral compass. They look out for each other and challenge any form of discrimination or bullying. We expect our students to make the right choices and expect more for themselves through a sense of self-confidence and belief. We also expect the students to be a part of their Burnt Mill community, and that means supporting and encouraging each other to be the best they can be. We also encourage our students to be active citizens by representing their form group, their house, or becoming involved in school and community issues. At Burnt Mill, we are proud to be a part of the local community and we invest in community projects and charitable events. Our aim is that our students leave us as well-rounded and confident individuals who will contribute to society and have the academic success and skills to allow them to further their educational journey, whether that be through completing an apprenticeship or going on to university. But let me assure you, whatever it is that your child aspires to achieve, we will help them to realise their dreams at Burnt Mill Academy. Burnt Mill is all about aspirations, belief and achievement. So how will we support your child on their educational journey? Well, firstly, it is through our ambitious, engaging and knowledge rich curriculum. This meets the needs of all groups of learners and it makes sure we have the personalised curriculum for all. And secondly, the teaching and learning about Burnt Mill Academy is outstanding. We have inspirational teachers who are subject specialists with an in-depth knowledge and a passion for their subjects. And that's why the teaching is excellent. The teachers and staff here are dedicated and committed professionals who really do go above and beyond to make sure that your sons and daughters are well supported. They will enthuse your sons and daughters and support them within lessons to ensure that they excel. We believe in providing quality instant feedback so that your child knows how to progress. So there are many reasons why we are an outstanding school in every area, namely because our students well-being and happiness is of paramount importance. They have positive relationships between students and teachers, the outstanding teaching and of course our excellent GCSE results. And in May 2019, Burt Mill Academy received an Ofsted visit and I am extremely proud to report that we retained our outstanding judgment. The inspectors specifically commented that the leaders ensure that there are high expectations for pupils to achieve well across the curriculum. But as well as academic success, your child's well-being whilst at school is incredibly important to me because we know that if pupils are happy and enjoy school, then they will thrive. So we take a strong stance on bullying. We are very strict and I make no apologies about that. It ensures that your child can come to school and learn without any disruption in lessons, and it means they can play at break and lunchtime without fear or worry. Our school is very safe and we are very supportive of each other. I'm always impressed about how well our older children look after their younger peers. We also facilitate two lunchtimes, one for years seven and eight and one for the older years nine, ten and eleven. There are also our senior staff on duty throughout the day, and this ensures the safety of our students. Our year seven and eight students line up at the beginning of the day, at the end of break, after lunchtime, and this means that they can start their lessons with a calm, orderly manner, and they are escorted and guided to their lessons by their teachers. At the end of the day, our school staff are on the gates and make sure that we are walking through the community. Our students feel incredibly safe at Burnt Mill Academy. The pastoral care is also fantastic here, and we have a dedicated team who support students on a day to day basis and they will be your first point of contact should your child come here, along with your child's form tutor and Mr Bolt, our assistant head teacher, who is in charge of year seven and eight. And he leads on all aspects of transition and you will have an opportunity to hear from him later on this evening. 
We also have learning mentors within the school and we have a counsellor who can support our students as well. And you may be wondering what we expect of your child. Well, we do have high expectations about behaviour and learning and we expect the pupils to work hard and to behave in a respectful manner. We want them to have a positive attitude to school and to enjoy and love learning. And I know where well, we will have the same high expectations for your children that you will have as well. And therefore, this is why we work closely with parents and carers to make sure there is consistency from home to school. And while we all know that the building does not make a fantastic school, I'm sure you'll agree with me that the environment is important. And therefore, we have recently refurbished the front of our school and we've invested in new toilets and classrooms. We continually invest in our school building to make sure that we have a building that is fit for purpose and a school building that the children can be proud of. Also, by joining a BMAT school, you're joining our vision to smash through the barriers that anyone prevents any child from having educational success. We want the very best opportunities for the children of Harlow. And therefore, there are other opportunities that are available to you if you come to a BMAT school. We have a BMAT STEM Academy, which will allow your child to go there in year 10 and they will have priority if they're interested in STEM subjects such as science, technology, engineering and maths. And we will also have the sixth form provision should your child wish to do that with the new Sir Frederick Gibbard School. Joining a BMAT school gives your child all of these additional opportunities. And to all the parents and carers this evening that I'm speaking to, I do hope that you enjoy this evening. I do hope that we will have the opportunity to meet in person in the very near future. And I'm just asking you now to have a look at the website, refer to the videos and the links that will be on there. And if you have any other questions, then please do not hesitate to email myself or to get in contact with the school. Our admissions policy is on the website and that will give you further information about how to apply. And we will endeavour to answer your questions this evening through the chat box function. So please do submit those questions to us. And to all the year five and six pupils out there, I say good evening to you all. I hope that you, as you watch the videos, you have a look at the pupils enjoying their learning at Burnt Mill Academy. You'll get a true sense of what it would be like to be a Burnt Miller and to join our excellent school community. I do hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you have questions, ask your parents to put those into the chat box as well. Now, I am delighted for you to hear from some of our students and I'm going to pass over so that you can hear from the students of Burnt Mill Academy about what they think about their school. Thank you. I know all of you are probably extremely nervous about starting secondary school and I'm here to put both yours and your parents' minds at ease because I promise you it isn't nearly as scary as you think. Choosing the right school for your child is an extremely important decision and making sure they're in a school where they feel happy and reassured paves the way for their academic success. When I first joined Burnt Mill nearly five years ago, I felt exactly the same as you do now. I was scared, nervous, and even though everybody told me it was going to be okay, I definitely didn't believe them. Honestly, I had nothing to worry about. From my very first day here at Burnt Mill, I have felt confident and been supported by those around me and have been able to flourish in my academic career in spite of any obstacles I've faced. Now, I believe that everything is possible and have the support and encouragement to achieve my best. From my personal experience, I know how important it is to feel safe and supportive when coming to school, and I empathise with every one of you who is scared about the transition between secondary and primary. I assure you, within a week, you'll forget all of your worries and just be excited about the amazing opportunities ahead. Since starting at Burn Mill, my confidence has skyrocketed and I have learnt to deal with obstacles and not let them stand in the way of my aspirations, as hard work really does pay off. In Year 7, I would never have thought I could deliver speeches, let alone write one, but I have grown so much over my years here and I know that with the right help and at the right school, you can too. Although my journey is nearly at an end, yours is only beginning and I truly wish you the best of luck. The journey from here will not be an easy one. You will have to work hard to achieve your goals. I have faith in every single one of you because you can achieve anything and do anything if you put your minds to it and have the right people to support you. Like you, I was a new starter in September 2016. Like you, I was the new kid. Although I was very excited, I remember when I was a year six who was very confused and frustrated about joining a new school that I almost knew nothing about. 
What I can promise you is an unswerving dedication from our talented group of staff and students who believe passionately in giving the very best opportunities to all the young people within our school. The transition between primary and secondary school may seem like a big change, but those changes are the ones that make you successful, independent and unique. I guarantee you, if you follow the advice given to you by the staff and put the effort in, success is assured. Burt Mill doesn't just look for academic success. We try to develop your social skills, teach you to aim high and reassure you that anything is possible. It's been a little over four years since I started my journey with Burt Mill. As a matter of fact, it's almost the end of my journey at Burt Mill. In the near future, it will be in my memories, but I will never be able to forget about Burt Mill as they were there, there with me through my ups and downs and next steps. Each year was a really different experience. Enough about me. Your chapter is only about to begin and I have nothing else to say but cherish each and every day because it goes by very quick. Before you know it, it will be you'll be starting school and forget about why you were so worried about secondary school in the first place. I truly wish you all the best for the future. So when I first joined Burt Mill, I was really scared, but um, I found all of them, um, I found my friends that I made when we first, when I first saw them, and it was really fun. And even though you might get scared, the um, teachers will always be there to help you. And if you can't find your way um, to like classes or anything like that. Um, you can always like, ask them and they will come to you. I like Burt Mill because all the teachers are nice and everybody is kind to each other. I love Burt Mill because of the variety of new subjects we will learn. So far Burt Mill has been really fun and we've had loads of um, new fun lessons. We've been doing um, drama and music which we didn't do much in my old primary school. Um, my favourite subjects have got to be the drama so far. Um, it's really fun. My um, Miss Brady is really good with drama. Burmill so far has been great. It's definitely different from primary school in many ways, but um, I'm certainly the subject has got to be maths. I've got maths with Mr. Bolt. Um, he's really funny and he makes maths really fun. Even though it can be a bit hard, he will always be there to teach you. We've learnt loads of new things and in English we've been learning about Greek, Greek mythology and all the Greek myths. In maths we've been learning about mode, range and lots more. In art we've been learning about um, shading and tones and lots more. We've, all got, we've got all types of rewards. If you do great for listening to teachers or for doing great in your work you get all types of rewards and everybody is two meters apart and we have our own bubbles. So once once you start walking around it's kind of something where you just get used to it. My three favourite subjects are arts, um, drama and music. I like these subjects because I enjoy doing art at school and at home and drama and music is like really fun and different to the other classes. Good evening. My name is Mr Bolt and I'm the assistant head in charge of Year 7 and 8 at Burnmill Academy. Uh, my role is essentially to um, take your sons and daughters from the journey of the end of Year 6 up until um, the end of Year 8 when they begin their GCSE journey. My role starts essentially in September when we come back um, to school, when I go and meet local primary schools um, to to discuss uh, the journey from, from primary school to secondary school, discuss our expectations and answer any questions that your sons and daughters may have. Uh, then re-meet the students uh, once they've been offered a place and discuss once again the expectations of the school and answer any questions that they may have, as well as discussing the different challenges that I may set throughout the year, such as rewards um, and how to get those rewards. We will then meet again, and this time I have the opportunity to meet you as parents, our new parents' evening, where your sons and daughters and yourselves will find out um, their tutor groups. So that on that evening they have the opportunity to meet myself, some other senior leaders within the school, as well as their tutor. Uh, we then will move on to a taste today, or um, for some, um, those of uh, the students that are in 
our our academy trust schools uh, a transition week where the students have the opportunity to meet their fellow peers in their tutor group as well as some of their teachers and experience what the day uh, may be like in the life of a, of a burnt miller. We then move on to summer school uh, over the summer where we usually offer two weeks um, so it allows the students to get used to the school and the environment as well as the expectations before they start in September. Now when they do come to us in September um, my role is to essentially offer them pastoral care, academic support uh, and interventions throughout their assessments to, to make sure that no student is left behind and ensure that there is levels of progress that are made rapidly to ensure that they're ready for their GCSEs. Obviously throughout this time there is different levels of support, not just from me but from some of my colleagues. So we have outstanding pastoral care um, in Burnt Mill and there are many, many members of staff who are dedicated to this. Um, so essentially my role is to make sure that your sons and daughters are ready to move to the next step of their education moving from year six all the way up until year eight. Okay, good evening all. Um, we're going to take some uh, live um, questions now and answer them verbally that are coming in on the chat. Um, my name is Mr. Collins. Um, thank you all for tuning in. So one of the first questions that's come through in the chat is how much homework will my child get? So our expectation is that each subject sets one piece of homework per week and um, this was either to consolidate the learning from their lessons or to extend their learning um, post lesson. Um, another question has just come through. I'm going to ask Miss McGlashan, could you answer that one please? Thank you Mr Collins. Um, yes, I've seen a question here. It says what subjects will students study in year seven? With students in year seven, we will study the full complement of subjects, the EVAC subjects as well. So the English, maths, science, PE, French is the, as their modern foreign language and the performing arts subjects, drama, dance and music, the humanities range of subjects, history, geography, RE, citizenship and the creative subjects in art, design and technology. They will also study computer science. So a full complement of subjects for our year, year seven students, including a PSHE programme. We have another question here now and we're just going to pass that over to Mr Bolt. Thank you, Ms. McGlashan. Um, the question is, can you list some extracurricular activities my child can take part in? Um, so first of all, I would just like to, to add that we, we believe that every student has every opportunity to achieve uh, and we, we try our best to create well-rounded individuals and that's through their experiences. So the, some of the very <clears throat> simple experiences that we offer here uh, and they start here within PE where we offer uh, rugby, football, netball, swimming. Uh, we then move on to our performing arts where there's dance productions, there's drama productions, singing productions. Uh, we move on to our uh, MFL where there are different language subjects that can be studied and supported in in extra clubs. Then the many, many science um, clubs that we offer as well as our ADT and many, many other subjects that Ms McGlashan already mentioned. There are many, many uh, different extracurricular clubs. Uh, one I also haven't mentioned where us as a school, we just go that little bit extra uh, and we offer uh, another thing such as horse riding. So there are many, many um, different experiences of extra, extracurricular activity that your, your son or daughter may be able to, to take part in. Um, there is another question um, and that's how will the school make the transition to secondary easier for my child? Um, so first of all, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, we, we create a primary visit and that's very, very early. Uh, so myself and Miss McGlashan will be visiting some of the local primary schools very, very shortly. Um, once our students are successful in gaining a place, uh, I then visit the primary schools again and answer any may question any questions they may have, uh, as well as discussing the expectations of the school and and what we um, kind of feel is very very important for your sons and daughters to be successful. You then later on um, as parents and and as sons and daughters uh, have the opportunity to meet me once again uh, and for you as parents meet me for the first time uh, meet your tutors as well as other members of staff within the school. We then uh, have a transition week or a taster day um, that the students get used to the school and how it functions and what life as a burnt miller really is. We then move on to the summer school uh, where we provide two weeks which gives them the opportunity to try many many different subjects that they may not have yet experienced. We then start with our first day in September 
uh, where the students in year seven are here on their own. So they get a feel for the school and don't feel the outside pressures of the older year groups. They have this experience on their own just to release uh, the anxieties they may have. And then we obviously continue this experience and this support from year seven as we progress to year 11. Now, for some students, they may find the transition process extremely anxious and they become very anxious about this. So what we also offer is um, what we consider to be nervous days. So for some of our extremely anxious students, they have the opportunity to come and visit the school in very, very small groups so that they then become used to it before they start. I have a, a, another question that's come through, uh, but I'd like to pass over to Miss Baker, our SENCO, to answer this question. Thank you, Mr. Bolt. Um, a question I've been asked is, my child has specific needs. How will you support my child through their first term at Burnt Mill? So here at Burnt Mill, um, every child is an individual. So we plan, so the, the support that we put in place is personal to every student. We do this by speaking to yourselves, the parents or carer, the child, and we also talk to the primary school. Together, we create a one plan profile with targets for the students um, that they can work towards and also specific strategies that the teachers can use in class to support the children. We also run interventions such as handwriting, um, reading, extra maths and social skills. It's really important to us that we pick up any worries as soon as they occur so that the big problems don't, um, so the little problems don't become big problems. So communications with yourself is really important to us. Thank you. I'll now pass you back to Miss McGlashan. Thank you, Miss Baker. Um, I have a great question here about do we encourage reading? Um, absolutely is the answer to that question um, because we know that when children read a lot it helps them throughout all of their subjects and it's something that we're very passionate about here at Burnt Mill. So we do have form time reading programme and we also have a programme of reader leaders where older children read with the younger peers and we also make sure that within the classrooms that the teachers plan carefully to make sure that texts are differentiated for children that they can all access the curriculum through their reading age but reading for pleasure is a big big push of ours at Burman Academy and I'm pleased to report that we are currently refurbishing a new library so we'll have a, a larger selection of books but um, yes we very much do encourage reading um, and I will pass you on to Mr Collins we have another question here. Thank you Ms McGlashan there's a question about how the school handles bullying um, so we take bullying very serious at this academy. Um, we ensure that um, the student voice of all parties involved are listened to and assessed. We ensure that all parents are uh, involved in the process. And we also um, endeavour to ensure that these um, situations are rectified quite urgently, um, which is the need of, yes, a sanction, but also um, education about the, the issue as well. There's another question, um, Mr. Bolt. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Um, so this is a, a good question for myself and it's, does a school like competitive sports? Uh, now myself as a PE teacher, I'm very, very competitive. Um, and it's not, for me, it's not just about the sport. I encourage all of our students and specifically those in year seven and eight uh, to compete right from the beginning. So they compete not only in their sports, but they compete uh, in their tutor groups for, for reward points, for um, for reward activities, uh, trips, and so on. Uh, but then, obviously, we come we come to the sport as well, uh, and we we compete in many many national competitions and county wide competitions. So, for me me personally, um, we as a school very very much push competitive sport, but we also very much uh, push that competitive atmosphere as well. Uh, so unfortunately, that's kind of come to the end uh, of our live Q&A session. Uh, but please, please, if you have any questions, please continue to ask them uh, and we will um, continue to answer your questions in the live Q&A chat. And for those that we do not manage to answer, we will uh, create a document and place this on our website that answers all of your questions. Um, as mentioned earlier on, there are many emails that you can uh, email and mine, uh, Miss McGlashan's, Mr. Collins and, and Miss Baker's are there. So if you have any direct questions, please feel free to email us and we will help you as much and as quickly as we possibly can. Thank you. 
Good evening all. My name is Mr Collins and I am the Associate Head Teacher here at Bartmill Academy. Firstly, thank you all for engaging in our virtual opening evening. I hope that you have so far found it informative and helpful. At Bartmill Academy, we are a school that is caring and friendly and we want our students to tell us that when they attend Bartmill Academy, they feel happy, safe and they enjoy their learning. We have staff who are passionate and dedicated to supporting their students to be, the, to be the best they can be and enable the students to thrive. My role in the school is to ensure that students achieve great outcomes. I believe in creating opportunities for every individual and I want all students to seize the chance to experience all that Burtmill Academy has to offer, both in the classroom with our ambitious curriculum and extracurricular activities. In this school, we have high aspirations for all students. We expect excellent behaviour, and this leads to academic success, which is important as it will create opportunities for young people in the future. Our students in this school leave with a strong work ethic, they are resilient, and they are able to demonstrate determination. These are the qualities that I and my team will develop in students. We want students to strive to make their parents or carers, school and their community proud. Please come join us in September and together we can achieve greatness. So finally, I want to thank everyone for joining us. Please make sure that you visit the website for, for more information and videos on each of our subject areas in the school. Please check out our prospectus online. Thank you all for joining us. Take care and stay safe.